Hello YouTube. I thought I would tell you about Path of Exile. Now this is a game that uh, is not out yet, but I've been playing it since last uh, mid-December. Because I was selected to be part of the closed beta, the beta test. I got interested in this game from watching some gameplay videos on YouTube. And it reminded me a lot of Diablo 2. And uh, for those of you that have known me a long time, you know that uh, uh, before I had my current job, uh, Diablo 2 kind of was my job. You know, I spent a lot of time playing that game. So this new game, Path of Exile, really uh, interested me. Now there's a lot that's different, you know, all the characters are different, and the setting, and the skills, you know, the specifics are different, but the gameplay and certain aspects of it are very similar to Diablo 2. I signed up for the beta at the website pathofexile.com even though this is a Windows only game and at the time I did not have Windows on any, on any of my computers. You know I was I had a Mac and I had my main computer runs Ubuntu Linux. But I figured it's free and there's probably no chance I'll get selected anyway so you know why not sign up. Uh, and then one day I got this got this email saying I was in the beta and go ahead and download it and try it out and I did and at first I tried to get it running with uh, wine which is a, a Windows compatibility layer that runs on Linux and I did get it working um, to some degree but there were some problems you know it would crash under certain circumstances like if uh, the witch character used a wand, or any character used a wand and, and uh, shot somebody with a wand, the whole game would crash. I found out later that it had something to do with the sound, the way the there's, there's a bug in the sound driver or something. Uh, and the same thing happened if uh, an archer used an arrow that had some kind of elemental damage, like uh, a fire arrow, then it would it would crash. But as long as I avoided those skills, I could I could play the game fine. Somewhere around February, I decided that uh, I would get a copy of Windows 7 and dual boot my computer, uh, basically just so I could play this one game. So I did that, and I've been trying out all the different classes. Uh, they just announced the sixth one. You know, when I first signed up, there were only five. Um, then they announced the sixth one, the Shadow. Uh, each of the classes is based on one of the three attributes, uh, strength, dex dexterity, or intelligence. Like for strength, there's the Marauder, who is the uh, melee combat class. Uh, for dexterity, is, there's the Ranger, who is the Archer. And then intelligence, there's the Witch, who is the uh, Spellcaster. And then there, were, there are also three hybrid classes, which are a combination of each of the other two. Like the Templar is strength and intelligence. The Duelist is a combination of strength and dexterity. And the last one to be announced, the Shadow, which is sort of like an assassin character. He is a combination of intelligence and dexterity. Anyway, I thought I'd show you a little bit of the game. Um, uh, first up, I'll show you the character selection screen where you can choose which character you want to play. Next I'll show you my duelist. Um, now the duelist can be, uh, because they're between dexterity and strength, they could be either a 
like a fencer type, you know, the, the fighting in, in hand to hand combat with uh, foils and shields, or they can be a range class. And I chose to build him as a ranger. So I, I built him uh, focusing on speed, uh, elemental damage, and uh, critical hits. So here's a little bit of my duelist archer fighting some monsters. Okay, and I also have this character which is a witch, and I wanted to try out the spellcasting class. Um, it's not my favorite type, uh, but I, you know, people will say that it's it's powerful, even maybe a little uh, overpowered at this point in the beta, you know, because things are still being tested and, and tweaked and experimented with. So I decided to specialize this this character with cold spells. Uh, the main spell is a uh, ice spear, which shoots. Um, uh, projectile all the way to the edge of the screen just one though that's the main attack and then the backup attack is uh, something called freezing pulse which shoots uh, like a wave of cold out at short range so it can hit multiple monsters but it doesn't have the range the other one does um, those are the two main skills and I got some backup skills like uh, like raise zombie so I can um, create minions out of the out of the bodies that are on the battlefield, uh, you know, to keep the enemies away from me as I cast spells at them. The next one is the Marauder, who is the melee fighter. Now you have a, in this game, you have a passive skill tree, which all of the characters share the same range of skills. But the, the class that you choose to start with determines where in this giant mass, uh, web of uh, passive skills you start. So if you start as a Marauder, who is a melee fighter, then uh, it's easier for you to get things like uh, additional armor, uh, melee damage, what, either one-handed or two-handed, or like uh, shield bonuses. Now, to be effective, you do have to specialize in something. And my Marauder is uh, a specialist in using two-handed maces, like giant hammers and things. Now, he could pick up a sword without, you know, there's no problem picking up a sword as long as you have the strength and dexterity to use it. Um, but he's just not as effective doing that because he has all those passive skills in the mace. So anyway, this is a little bit of my, uh, my marauder smashing some undead creatures.
Uh, next thing I thought I'd show you the towns. Like each, at, there's two acts in the game right now, and there's it's rumored there's a third one that's being worked on, which is going to be uh, available before the open beta starts. And each act has a, a safe area, a town, which you start in, and then you venture out into the wilderness from the town. And I'll show you the the, the Act One town is is the uh, is an, an encampment on the beach where you first land, and the second one is a, a forest encampment. And I'll show you a little bit of both of those. So as I said, the game is not available yet. They're still building it and testing it. Uh, and the, there's a lot of people that are in the closed beta that are participating in the testing. Um, where it is, the open beta, when anyone can join, uh, is going to be, like they were saying June of this year, but I think that's going to be pushed back to July or further back. So you can be randomly chosen to be in the closed beta. You can currently uh, donate money and, and buy a beta key. The third way is actually to be a, uh, a subscriber to the Carl Bleming channel. Yes, I actually have a couple of beta keys that I can give away. Uh, if you're interested, send me a message through YouTube. Um, you know. Honestly, by the time you see this, they'll probably be gone because I only have a couple. But uh, let me know if you're interested, if you want to try it out. It's free. Um, it only runs on Windows. It runs with, with some success on Wine, so you could run it under Mac or Linux if you use that. Um, and the game is, is pretty big. When you first download it, it's, it's more than 3 gigabytes. So keep that in mind. If there's any interest, I'll do a, a comparison video where I can show the exact differences between uh, Diablo 2 and Path of Exile. So that is it, and uh, thank you for watching. Oh.